State tournament team. Can you just, is there any more words you can say about him? Nah, just that, just that, I mean, I've grown up playing with him, like I've said in the past, and the kid continuously just, he, he, he surprises me. I don't know how he does, but he does. He, he comes out every game with intensity. The kid may have a, may have a fractured wrist, but, but he comes out every inning and he throws his best pitch every pitch. Can you talk about how good this feels to not only win like you did last night in exciting fashion, but then again today in extra innings? Uh, it shows what kind of team we are. It definitely shows that uh, we're the team that really that we deserve this, and we're able to sit there and look at people, look at people in the eyes, and tell them, "You doubted us. We're going to come here and we're going to prove what we deserve." And no state, champ no state uh, championship yet, but is this so far exceed all your expectations that you could have imagined? Oh. Uh, Growing up, yes, this, this is exceeding our expectations. This year, no, we knew that we knew that this is where we would be, and uh, we knew that we would have to keep working to be here. But we know that this is where we belong, and uh, we're ready to make Murfreesboro our home. Where, you know, we only need to win one more and get to the championship, and we have to get beat twice. Um, so, you know, this, this means a lot to me, and means a lot to the boys, and you know, it's a great feeling. You know, it's just, I'm on top of the world right now, and so are the boys. Uh, you know, if we just come out and play our game tomorrow and do what we're supposed to do, execute the little things. Um, you know, we'll be okay. I got Elijah Gallion throwing, he's a freshman, uh, Kentucky commit. So he's gonna come out, he's gonna compete. That was the guy that just closed right there. So he's gonna, he's gonna come out and commit, uh, compete and, and give us a chance. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you, guys. Good. Appreciate Thank you. Out. Coach, I mean, the, the oil was leaking out. Everything, I mean, everything was just kind of starting to, the wheels were starting to come off a little bit. How did you guys change that momentum when it seemed like Stewart's Creek was gonna force y'all to play a second game today? Um, it's, just the, it's just the grind of these boys. There's, there's a couple kids that are in there and give us a spark. Um, you know, and, that, and that's what this team's about, they're a brotherhood. They, they, that's what they call themselves. We're a brotherhood, we're a family. Um, you know, in, in a family, you always have that one person that's going to step up and pick, you, and pick you up, and we had that today. Um, you know, we had Chris come up with that big hit and really get – that's what got the spark going was Chris coming up with that big hit, getting that inning going, and then getting some, uh, some bunts down. Um, so that, you know, that was outstanding of them. Your community that's here, pretty fired up for this game. I mean, you got a lot of people in your year on yeah. both sides of the dugout. Uh, I know sometimes I can possibly get under your skin, but it also shows the passion this community has for baseball. Yeah, I mean, that's a Seymour. The, Seymour's always been a baseball school. They're really passionate about their sports in general. But when it comes to baseball, they're extremely passionate. Um, you know, they, I'm getting all kinds of support from these guys. They, they're texting me, calling me, coach, whatever you need, let me know. Um, you know, but just for them, you know, get up, get up and give that standing elevation, let's go Eagles. I mean, that jacked the boys up there. That's something for them they're going to take in and enjoy that. Um, but the community, the fans, I mean, it's outstanding. You couldn't ask for a better crowd.